siege in Melbourne's northwest is finally over. Police say they subdued the gunman when he confronted them at about 2.15 this morning. 43-year-old Christopher Bince had been barricaded inside the East Keelor home for 44 hours. He fired about a dozen shots at police during the standoff. Our reporter Peter Carline is at the scene and joins us now. Peter, this was a dramatic end. Take us through how it happened. Good morning, Karina. Yes, after a 44-hour siege here in Stirling Drive in Keelor East, Christopher Bince was a confronted officers uh, with a gun and he was subdued by force. It was hard to see what happened, but we've got some dramatic audio from his arrest. Okay, I need you to come out the front door. Come to the front door. Peter, have police said anything about how they were able to bring this siege to an end? They've said very little so far, Karina. They've released a statement saying that uh, Christopher Bince did confront them with a gun and that they had to subdue him by force. They've been, they said they won't comment on their, the tactics that they used um, in order to make that arrest and the tactics they used throughout the siege, but it appears that there was a, 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 quite a heated standoff at about 2.15 this morning and that's led to his arrest. And there were, of course, more shots fired over the course of yesterday. There were. Police said there were about 12 shots fired in total by Bince while he was holed up in the house behind me. Um, the, he fired about quarter past ten yesterday morning, three or four shots, um, and police released their own volley of shots about half past six last night, which it's believed um, now helped to bring out Christopher Bince's girlfriend who was in the house with him. And Peter, is there any word from police as to when residents might be able to return home? We're hoping to hear from them shortly, Karina. They've said that residents should be able to return back later this morning. They're going to meet to brief residents uh, in the next few hours and then we believe they'll be allowed to start returning home. So I'm sure certainly a few relieved residents from, from the surrounding streets here. It's not something that they'd experience every day. We'll come back to you shortly, Peter Carline there in Melbourne.